Thanks, Claire. Well, it seems like Riverdance was only yesterday to many of us. Uh, the wow of the crowd when Michael Flatley and Jean Butler completed their set. Remember that big crescendo and everything's fantastic. Well, the success of Riverdance was all down to Moya Doherty and John McColgan, and they're now on the verge of creating a new spectacular event. And we caught up with them recently at their launch of Heartbeat of Home. Have a look at this. We all remember Eurovision 1994 when Riverdance was unveiled to the world. Well, I'm now here at the Borgosh Energy Theatre in Dublin to chat to Moya Doherty and John McColgan about their brand new music and dance spectacular, Heartbeat of Home. <laughs> joined now by Moya Doherty and John McCulgan, who you will know better as the power couple behind Riverdance, of course. But today we're here to talk about a brand new show, Heartbeat of Home, which opens here at the Borgosh Energy Theatre on October 2nd. So Moya, I first I have to ask, where did the idea of the show originate? Well, I think um, we have been so mindful for so long of where Riverdance has taken Irish dance. Um, I mean, it took it really from a competitive backroom form onto the main stage. Now, 20 years later, what's happening, as you can see today with all these dancers from all around the world, that I river dance is a generic term for Irish dance now, and that Irish dance has become a must-do dance for most dancers around the world. Fantastic. And I suppose the online process is something that kind of caught my imagination straight away. You're really delving into the reality side of things that's so strong at the moment. Where did that originate from for yourself? Well, it was just an idea we came up with uh, to do an online audition. It had never been done before for a stage show. Uh, it was meant to achieve two things. One, we, we thought we could really unearth talent that we mightn't get to physically and to raise the profile of the show and the concept around the world. So it succeeded beyond our wildest dreams. And we've seen them doing a bit of dancing here today. They're absolutely sensational. But the audition process is this afternoon. And, uh, you know, there's 20 or so dancers here today. Not all of them are going to make the cut. How, what will you be looking for? How will you make that decision? Well, I think as, as a director, John is the one who will, will have the final call there with the choreographer, uh, David Bulger, and the Irish dance choreographer, John Carey, who are two really talented guys with lots of global experience. Um, really, all of those who come today are winners because if they don't make it, to the premiere here on the 2nd of Dublin of October in Dublin, uh, they will at some point uh, dance with us on the journey, I believe, because they are so talented. Fantastic. Are you looking for the next Michael Flatley, perhaps? Um, I think we have found um, something entirely different. I think Michael uh, made a huge impact uh, in the beginning uh, with Irish dance because he did something different and he had high energy. I think these people combined are taking Irish dance to a new place that couldn't have been imagined when Michael uh, first did it. And it's, he contributed and this is taking it onto another level. Well, it's, it's just so exciting. That's, in a word, the only word I can kind of describe it. There's literally every nationality around the world in this room right now. Is it exciting? Are you excited? Ah, yeah. I mean, both excited and nervous in equal measure. I mean, it's, it's, it's wonderful. It is, today is a huge energy boost for us to see the talent. Um, I mean, there's, you know, as they say, 90% perspiration and 10% inspiration. So it's really wonderful to touch base, for me as a producer, with that deep core of the creative and say every day it's worth worth it because when you meet people like these and witness something like we did this morning, it's a fantastic business to be in. Dancers have come from near and far and I managed to get a word with Canadian dancer Fred who has no family connections with Ireland. Tell us a little bit about what you have got to go through now over the next couple of days uh, in, in the audition process. So in the audition process we actually had to prepare three dances for the audition. Um, one is hard shoe, soft shoe, both 32 bars, two steps, right and left foot. And the last piece is just a special piece that we can showcase our, I guess, best attributes of dancing and performing. Tell me a little bit about what you've done to get here. Um, so we had to make an audition video and kind of submit it and 
just get as many votes as we can or hopefully get the judges pick uh, my audition video actually had I had a drummer to accompany me and we kind of collaborated um, it was all my teachers idea I just wanted to audition but I didn't think about putting the Afro-Cuban fusion into it and it was all her idea and we just went on with it and it was really great. Now, you're from Canada but you've been to Ireland before but you've no family connections here. Yeah, no family connections. I've come here a couple times, like five, six times for competition, world championships, All-Ireland championships and this is the first time that I'm here not doing a competition so it takes off all the stress. Next, I chat to the only Irish girl for the auditions, Aoife Kennedy from County Meath as she tells us what it's like to be part of this special event. It's very, very exciting. Um, I'd love to have some of my Irish friends with me, but it's still good. I'm going to represent Ireland and do my best. And it's really great to get to meet all, everyone that's come over from America and Australia and to get to know more about their culture and like all about them. So it's good to meet loads of new people as well from other countries and stuff. We saw you earlier sporting the tricolour wrapped around you. That must feel amazing. It is, yeah. I feel like, do you know when you see the Olympians with their like flags behind them? <laughs> And yeah, no, it was really great to have the Irish flag and just be proud. So tell us a little bit about your own Irish dancing background. When did you start? I started Irish dancing when I was four or five in primary school. Um, I think everyone in Ireland does it when they're in junior <laughs> infants in school. Um, but then my dancing teacher kind of said, like, you should start coming to some more classes outside of school. So it just really took off from then. Next thing it was competitions every Sunday, every weekend, going all around Ireland. And then by the time I was seven, we were going to America and England and Scotland. And it took off really quickly. But but um, I've been competing since I was really young and I'm, st I'm coming to the end now of my competitive career. So it would be great to move into a professional career now. So it's three pieces you've had to prepare? Three pieces, yeah. Mm. I know. <laughs> How are you feeling about it? Are you feeling confident? Um, I am. I mean, I've practiced them, um, I think, as much as I can practice them. And I think I'm just excited now to just get in and do them. Do you know, yeah. just get them done and you know I am excited to show off like whatever I've prepared. <laughs> well we're all firmly behind you. You have to have an Irish lady in the mix. <laughs> Best of luck today and uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you very soon. So as I remind myself about Riverdance at Eurovision so many years ago, I've no doubt that Heartbeat of Home will be just as successful.